thread a rope through a needle using a helicopter. That's basically what happened to Duke Energy's Zimmer power plant in Moscow as recovery from the March 2nd tornado continued. Nine News reporter Tom McKee was there for this risky and dangerous operation hundreds of feet above the ground. Tom? It was March 2nd when a tornado roared across the Ohio River from Kentucky and slammed into Moscow and the Zimmer power plant. Transmission towers and transmission lines were toppled. Well, the towers had been rebuilt, and today the process of restringing those cables began. The sound of helicopter blades roared through the morning Moscow air. Workers from the Heidecker Wheatley Company of Reed City, Michigan, scaled a 305-foot tower. The chopper brought them ladders to dangle from the cross arms. It was quite a high wire act. When anytime you're dealing with a helicopter or anything like this, it's very tricky and very precision. Old hat to a pilot with 30 years experience who next hauled a one inch diameter rope into the air and toward the towers. It briefly caught on a tree before being carried to the workers to thread through a pulley. The helicopter then began the slow, steady pull 2,800 feet across the Ohio River to a tower in Kentucky. The utility industry in itself is a very dangerous industry. Um, one mistake, you can be killed or maimed. Uh, we have an extensive safety program. As crews worked on the second rope, a lock wouldn't fasten, so the entire process was repeated with workers using a pike pole to snag it. Overall, four ropes were put into place, and that required a huge amount of coordination. We had two state governments for both Ohio and Kentucky, as well as we had to deal with the Coast Guard with crossing of the Ohio River, as well as the railroad CSX. Once the rope work is done, a two and a half inch cable called a conductor will be pulled across the river with those ropes. The biggest question is who's going to pay for all this work, both here in Ohio and in Kentucky. We're looking at the insurance policy that Zimmer holds as potentially um, able to cover the, the damage that was done here to the towers on the Zimmer side. Duke hopes that it can pay the Kentucky costs from its annual storm repair budget. Ideally, we've got enough money in that fund to cover that as well. If those don't work out, ratepayers may be asked to chip in. Contractors hope to have all the lines strung by the middle of next week, but Duke Energy says it's going to take until mid-June before they're re-energized. Tom McKee, 9 News, Moscow. In about a